This is a tiny DIY micro racer that went viral, but it started as a failure. My original Kickstarter failed and I felt frustrated. I felt burnt out. I felt hopeless. But then I made a YouTube video about it and I decided to open source it. Suddenly it exploded. News platforms such as Hackaday, Hackster, Adafruit, they all picked it up. They wrote articles about it. I actually show up in the news. This is crazy. People loved it. The video got thousands of comments. This action packed little micro racer has power ups, it has superpowers. When it hits a mushroom, it speeds up. When it hits a banana, it spins out. And the best thing, it's fully hackable. But I've been secretly working to improve it even further. I've made five big improvements to make it more fun, enjoyable, and easier to hack. The designs, the firmware, CAD files, everything you would need to make one of these, all open source. But I wasn't done there. For the first time ever, I'm launching a small batch of kits. And if you grab one, you'll get access to a private community that I'm building. It's going to be a space where we can all meet and learn together. And I'll be doing deep dive walkthroughs of this micro racer and the hardware and engineering behind it. But more on that at the end of the video. Let me show you what's new because it is super exciting. But first, let's quickly just recap what the project is all about. This smart micro racer has multiple sensors on the bottom. It has a color sensor and a magnetic switch. This allows it to trigger on specific surfaces. So for example, if it hits a mushroom, you get a power up. If it hits a muddy puddle, well, you will slow down. This makes it for a super fun interactive racing experience solo or against friends. I made this project based on an ESP32, so it's easy for anyone to pick it up and have fun with it. And it's fully self-contained. It has an onboard charger. You plug in a USB-C cable to modify firmware and have fun. And the best part, in my opinion, there are no apps. It's just the hardware and you can modify it. Okay, let's finally get into the improvements. They're pretty incredible. First one is probably the prettiest one of all. The cars lacked visual personalization. So I've added addressable color LEDs for both taillights and headlights. And now there's an indicator diode in the middle. So when you spin out, you know exactly the color you hit. And this allows you to really personalize it. You can make the headlights whatever color you want, all with just a button press on the remote and they change. It's a random color every single time. And if you have multiple cars racing, it's easy to distinguish them now. Just look how incredible this looks. And if you think this improvement is awesome, wait for number five. It is absolutely brilliant. And if you like this video so far, consider subscribing. Push that notification bell as well. I have so much more fun content planned in the next couple of months. It is going to be absolutely incredible. So not all the improvements are about looks. The original steering algorithm, to be honest, was kind of bad. So the second big improvement is how the car drives and steers. It is so much more smooth and precise. Just check it out. I'm able to slalom between obstacles with ease now. I tweaked and toyed with the algorithm so much. I know, I know, it's still a custom controller, but in order to make this just simply put together a kit and drive out of the box, it makes sense to have a custom controller. But that said, it's all open source. So if you want to use a project like BluePad, you can. That way you can use an Xbox controller, for example, if you want to. Too. And I have so many ideas on how to expand this project. This is just the beginning. I'm skimming the surface here. That said, the controller now feels amazing. It is so intuitive and easy to drive. I love it. And by the way, if you know anybody that would love this, send it their way, share it with them, make their day. All right, improvement number three. Now that the handling has been improved, there are still a few little things that were bothering me. No, it does not make the car go faster. No, I did not make the car smaller either. I changed how you can debug and program the cars. I've connected without realizing this before. Thank you community for pointing this out. The ESP32 H2 specifically is able to connect directly to USB 
an output UART and you can program it and debug it via that port. So I've made it super simple and super easy to change firmware on these guys and debug it and have fun with it, hack it, program it. This is super powerful and cool. All you now need is a USB-C cable, the same cable you charge it with. You plug in the USB cable to the computer and the micro racer and boom, you can debug and program. Super powerful. This means that you can tinker and hack with it as much as you'd like. And most importantly, the design is just so much cleaner now. There is no USB sticking out like before. And yes, I did this exact same thing for both the thumb troller, aka the controller, and the micro racer. Now this is a little bit of a side bonus, but check it out. The surface on top of the micro racer now is flat, except for the plug where the battery goes. That allows you to make super cool custom chassis if you like. There's so much space on this now. There's no more UART sticking out. There's no more USB that's pointed up. It's all beautiful flat surface. So thank you for the suggestions that came in through the comments. By the way, I read every single comment on every video. And there were a ton. So really, really, really appreciate that. So if you have any thoughts, comment them down below. I love to see it. I love to read it. And since we are talking about chassis, here is improvement number four. The battery and the sensor board on the bottom are now better protected. Check it out. The battery is now in its own enclosure that's built right into the micro racer. I left the top plain, but that's where your imagination comes in. My kids have been having so much fun decorating these with all sorts of stickers, Lego figures, and so forth. You can paint it. You could do whatever you want. Design your own chassis all open sourced in the end. Now, you might have already noticed improvement number five, and it's probably actually the most important out of all the improvements. We now have tires. Look how cool these look. I've made these injection molded tires to improve handling, design, aesthetics, and grip. I know, a lot of you said, go with Lego wheels, make this design for Lego wheels. And I have researched this quite a bit. In the end, going a custom route, it just seems like the best choice. You can 3D print these tires, so it's not like you have to have injection molded tires. You could still make this even without buying a kit. But if I want to supply the tires and the wheels, it just makes sense for me to be customizing them. And again, all the mechanicals, hardware, all the CAD files, everything you would need to make one of these is going to be open sourced. So you can, if you want to, adapt these to Lego wheels. There's no problem in that. For example, check out the project by Jacob. He did a phenomenal job. His micro racers look incredible. He did adapt the wheels to actually work with Lego wheels. So it's possible. Now there is a bonus. I am so incredibly excited to be launching pre-orders for these cars. They will be coming as a kit, so you do have to assemble and there will be a tiny bit of soldering, but you not only are buying a toy, you're buying into the private community that I'm going to be hosting. And within the community, I'll host live questions and answers with me. We'll go through any questions that you guys have. You will get all the parts you need. PCBs fully assembled. You will not have to bake your own PCBs. And the best part, you'll get to build these with me. I'll have step-by-step -step videos showing you exactly how to assemble these. So if you want to learn engineering with me and have a fun toy at the end, pre-orders are now available in the US, Canada, Mexico, and Europe. And most importantly, if you want access to these files, Sign up for the mailing list and I will send them over to you as soon as the first kits ship. I cannot wait to bring these to you. And remember, engineering is a superpower. So let's learn together. I'll see you in the next one.